Hi guys, Morning Brand here today again with my Kafifi Kafefe. And today we are going to be talking about desync. No, not actual syncs, but desync. We're no strangers to desync here in the Dead by Daylight community. We had some very, very, very severe desync back when the Unreal 5 engine update came to the game, and that happened earlier this year. And it's kind of weird because if I had a nickel for every time desync messed up the game this year, I'd have two nickels. Which is not a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice. Usually when it comes to complicated stuff like desync, I like to define it first because a lot of people just assume everybody knows what these words mean, but that's not always the case. So desync just simply means that there is a confusion going on between the client side of the game and the server side of the game. So what the player sees versus what the DVD server is seeing is inconsistent. It creates a lot of weird situations that often lead to very poor gameplay glitches, whatever. The big TLDR of this is that when this is happening, it is not accurately reflecting the actions of all five players in the trial. So the TLDR of this of why this is important is that if the DVD server is not agreeing with what you're seeing on your client side, you may be playing survivor and be running three meters ahead of the trapper. But on the trapper's end, he may be able to see you like right in front of him and he'll swing and hit you from what looks like three meters away. But on his screen, because they're disagreeing on what's happening in the match, it looks like he's, you know, you're right in front of him. So he just hits you right in front of you, which looks awful and looks super laggy. But in reality, the, the player on the other end can't tell because it's a server issue. There have been some signs of this in like the chaos shuffle update, but it was so subtle that basically not really anybody really noticed. But this patch, this recent update, where we had that kind of like diet, uh, perk shakeup kind of chapter, that's where all of this started coming in. On Tuesday, when this dropped, I hadn't really noticed anything uh, right away, but the signs were there. Uh, there were a couple of tail attacks that I missed head on, like directly in front of the survivor. Like my tail attack literally passed through the survivor, which I thought was weird, but I didn't really think too much of it because Dead by Daylight, because in Dead by Daylight, the Xenomorph has some weird kind of like hit reg issue with its tail attack. It's mostly only when you're at that like max range point where you'll see the tail attack touch them, but not actually hit them. But it's mostly at max range. So it's like it, I, whenever that happens, I don't really get upset about it. Cause I'm like, oh, okay. That's just kind of like, it, it, it's a weird thing that like theoretically shouldn't happen, but like it's consistent. So I'm like, okay, well like whatever. But it was happening like right in front of me where I'm like clearly within the 4.8 meter range, like within that first meter or two. I was just like, that's kind of weird. <laughs> but I like, you know, DVD is just a buggy game, so I didn't think about it too much. One thing I did notice that struck me uh, very uh, interestingly is that I was being accused of being laggy by a lot of a lot of survivors, which is weird considering the fact that I run at 31 to 35 ping all day. And it's cool because you don't even have to use the third party check that anymore. That's just in the game now, even if you're playing coach. So that's pretty neat. So I can check and see that I am actively running 31 to 35 ping, which is um, not laggy at all. <laughs> so I found that just like really strange that I was being accused of being laggy, even though I would clearly wasn't. Obviously, there's a lot of people in, you know, <laughs> in the DVD world who, you know, they always have an excuse for any reason anything goes wrong and they'll call laggy to anything. But that could not have been further from the truth. Wednesday. Wednesday is where the wheels kind of fell off the bus. And I'm like, oh, crap. We actually kind of have an issue here. <laughs> Firstly, I started my Wednesday on Twitter with this clip from Shy, who was getting up to six hatchet validations while playing Huntress. Six. Where simply, if you don't know what a hatchet validation is, if you're not, you don't watch Huntress mains, or you don't play Huntress, it's where a hatchet literally lands dead on, even gives you a little blue, the blood sploosh effect uh, that confirms a hit. And for some reason, the game just, just does not give you a health state. It happens semi rarely. It's not like something that's extremely common. But if you've played Huntress before for any extended period of time or watch somebody who plays Huntress for an extended period of time, it happens time to time. And you're like, oh, that sucks. But up to a six in one game. And I, I and there's other clips after this, too, where like they're having further games where this is happening. I saw a lot of Huntress mains coming out of the woodwork after this, too, to empathize with this. Like, hey, this is happening to me, too. I'm also getting a lot of hatchet validations ever since this update. My stream later that day, I would come into something similar, but it was on Chucky of all characters where I got up to like six phantom hits in one game. I don't know why we're all centering around this number six. There's probably something scary going on with that, but <laughs> jokes aside, I got to like six phantom hits in one game where my slice and dice would literally like run up, land on the survivor, and for some reason not give me a health state as a result, which is really, really frustrating. And I was just like appalled because like, I don't play Chucky a lot, but I play Chucky like semi-frequently. So like, 
the fact that I just had a game where like I, it seems like I just was like not hitting the survivors despite hitting them was really really bizarre and it was like really throwing me for a loop but even then I still wasn't like fully convinced because Chucky's hitbox is like kind of bizarre and is it buggy at times um so I was just thought I just kind of like chalked it up mostly to like Chucky things yeah I thought it was just bug buggy Chucky stuff so while it was weird I was definitely just you know I'll, I'll put I'll put a pin on that but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna call something out yet but then then I had a match on Swamp and Xenomorph, and I'm like, oh gosh, oh gosh, <laughs> the desync is so back. So first off, I knew something was wrong the moment I loaded into this game, because there were three players in the lobby that 100 ping, but like two were at like 20 or 30, which is like odd, because... Dead by Daylight has had an issue ever since like the Singularity chapter where you just get put on the, the wrong server like a lot. <laughs> I don't know why that is. Um, probably just some sort of server issue on their end, but I often get sent to like West. I'm on East, by the way. Uh, I often get sent to West. Sometimes I'll get sent to Europe and I'm like, I, I, I'm on East servers. Please stop doing this. <laughs> but like, it'll just send me to the wrong server all the time. But in those situations, well, it'll be like 100 ping. Like everybody will be 100 ping. All five players in the lobby, so all four survivors in the killer, will be like 100 ping. It's awful for everyone. But it was really weird because it was only the three of us. <laughs> it was only three players in the lobby who had super high ping and everyone else was fine. So that kind of like, you know, I was setting off alarm bells in my head right away because that's really, really odd. And then it happened. I was chasing a survivor at Shack, and the old school rubber band desync came back. The one that we had from earlier in the year, the one where like the game literally loses track of where everybody is. <laughs> and, and, and because of that, it just like starts rubber banding us back in place. Uh, and that happened mid chase. And I had it happen like two or three times while chasing a survivor where that server would just lose track of where we were and just rubber band us back to weird points. Now, the difference being, of course, during Unreal 5, the Unreal 5 update, the desync was so bad that this was happening almost every game and multiple times a game. Um, but at least in that scenario, it was consistent and you knew to expect it. Uh, this was completely out of nowhere. <laughs> so I was just like really thrown aback. Uh, I was really caught off guard there. Um, yeah, that's that's kind of where I was like, OK, there, there's a desync issue happening right now. Um, later in the day, I kept hearing more reports about things that felt off. Uh, Revium, who was our resident trickster main, uh, was even saying that trick, uh, trickster blades, trick blades were also suffering from the uh, desync issue as well, uh, making them fairly difficult to use. So I guess there's just a, a problem with desync right now. That was kind of like uh, gearing up before the chaos shuffle, uh, during the chaos shuffle situation and just <laughs> is now out in full force, uh, with the latest patch. You may be wondering what's the point of this video. Well, it's simply to warn you, Hey, there's a thing right now <laughs> because I, a lot of people are questioning right now. I usually get that hit, like what's going on. And it's very easily, it's very easy to like blame yourself in that situation. And honestly, I think that's a better mentality to have to blame yourself first before you just assume something is going wrong with the game's end. But in this situation, it is not you. It is the game. <laughs> the game is in a sense kind of gaslighting you right now. And like I was saying earlier, I was kind of prefer the desync from the Unreal Engine update because it was consistent and obvious. So it was super clear what was happening. This desync is way more subtle and it's not always clear that it's happening. So it could look fine on your end, but the survivor is being hit from 19 feet away or you're playing a range killer and feel like you're just barely missing your shots but they feel like they should be hitting and it's absolutely being robbed by desync <laughs> so yeah so yeah if you're just experiencing weird stuff out there uh I, th there's there's something weird going on with desync right now it is not you and if you are experiencing uh situations with like friends or other people that you know playing and having similar issues just you know be like hey there's a desync thing happening right now it's not on you so make people aware um hopefully behavior is aware of this it's going to be awareness i hopefully behavior is aware of this uh and hey if you're not please become aware <laughs> because this is leading to some really na nasty experiences uh with players in your game so it would be excellent if you fix that as soon as possible so yeah what do you guys think have you experienced any decent issues out there have you run into a content creator that's been talking about this let me know down in the comments below when that that's gonna be it for today's video friends thank you so much for watching but i love you to death and i'll see you in the next video but if I do not, I'll see you when I see you. Bye-bye.